Hello everybody, Dave here and welcome to my next Warhammer 40k build. In this build I am going to be building the Astra Militar Sentinel, the Imperial Guard Sentinel. I'm going to be building this one as seen here with a auto cannon with the ability to see the little guardman inside. So without any further ado, let's begin the build! Stuff, as you might see I am now actually going to be building two scout sentinels one will have more of the armor around but the other one will still be able to see the guardsmen inside both will ha have the auto cannon but they will both be normal scout sentinels so they will not be classified as armored sentinels now let me show you a bit of the lore about the uh, scout sentinel from the imperial guard the Sentinel is a one-man, all-terrain, lightweight, bipedal combat walker that is used by various regiments of the Astra Militarum. The Sentinel is most favoured when Imperial Guard patrols must move across rough terrain that will completely immobilise heavier vehicles. Sentinels achieve a perfect balance of robustness and mobility, able to navigate terrain that would immobilize heavy battle tanks and armor vehicles while still being able to face down fire that would shred ranks of infantry. The Sentinel uses a robust and highly stereotypicalized geostabler system that keeps the walker steady while traversing any terrain, including steep slopes and deep crevasses. The articulated legs of the Sentinel allow the walker to stalk quietly through urban ruins or dense undergrowth, while still allowing it to achieve an impressive speed over open ground. Scout Sentinels have noise reduction modification applied to their power plants to reduce the possibility of their movements being heard by the enemy. The crew of Sentinel squads will adapt their vehicles from all sorts of different opening environments, making use of everything from large chainsaws to for cutting through dense jungles and forests, to cervical spikes that can grip gracile plains. Sentinels are fitted in a squadron as scouts of in or infantry fire support vehicles. They can carry a variety of heavy weapons and bring intense firepower and removability together in one highly mobile unit. Scout Sentinels are lightly armoured, however, and are susceptible to heavy barrages of small arm fire. Some Sentinels, appropriately called Armoured Sentinels, may possess better cockpit armour plating than the norm, and are fitted with stabilisers to let them carry heavier weapons. This transformed the Sentinel's role into an Armoured Guard Regiment from one of the Armoured Reconnaissance and Lightly Infrared Fire to Support to one of a full-on anti-armor or even artillery support. While scout sentinels range ahead of the main force, conduct conducting hit and run rage and ambushes, armored sentinels march alongside columns of imperial battle tanks or the four of Astra Minotaur infantry formations, laying waste to the foe without breaking stride. Both Scout Sentinels and Armored Sentinels are often deployed far from Imperial supply lines, deep within em enemy territory. When operating as autonomous units, the pilots of Sentinel squadrons are often forced to use their own initiative, a quality that is not normally generally fostered in Imperial soldiers. As a result, many Sentinel pilots have acquired a reputation as would-be hotshots, glory seekers, or in subordinate mavericks. As mentioned earlier, the Imperial Guard Sentinel can be armoured with a variety of weapons. The original Sentinel design called for a completely open canopy and an assault cannon as the Walker's standard armament. But eventually this design fell out of use in place of more common weaponry and an armoured or partly armoured canopy. In the late 41st millennium, the Imperial Guard Sentinels were loosely equipped with ever weapons 
are most technically useful for the given mission or campaign. But some regiment use their own standard pattern of sentinels. The most common armament of the sentinels aments on the forge world of Mars and carries a multi-laser. With a particularly armoured canopy, this Mars pattern scout sentinel is used by regiments across the Imperium. Sentinels can also be equipped with auto cannons, las cannons, missile launchers, multi melters, heavy planers, plasma cannons, and heavy bolters. In a heavy fire support variant of the Sentinel, the support Sentinel can be equipped with a multi rocket pod or missile launcher to maximize the missile's ordnance load. Any Sentinel outfitted with missile weapons will use both frag and crack missiles for effectiveness in both anti personnel and anti armor roles. All Sentinels can be outfitted with camouflage netting, searchlights, and smoke launchers. Armored Sentinels, equipped with fully armored canopies, have additional GEO staplers which allow them to carry and fire heavier weapons, as well as a all-spec array that are used to equip powerful hunter-killer missile launchers that allow the Sentinels to drive in anti-armor role. There are multiple known variants and patterns of the Sentinel. Each one presents a different combination of primary weapon, pilot protection, and operational role in the battlefield. The no variants include the Scout Sentinel. The Scout Sentinel has a partly armored canopy and is used mainly for scouting and reconnaissance purposes. These Sentinels are usually armed with either multi lasers or heavy flamers, employed preliminarily for reconnaissance duty and lightly armored infantry fire support. Scout Sentinel is used by many Astro Missile regiments to locate and obliterate lots of enemy resistance in daring ambushes and surprise attacks. Bursts from multi lasers and gouts of superheated petroleum emitted sweeps of enemy troops. Scout Sentinels are fitted with stereotypalized GU staplers to assist them as they traverse the rockiest crevices battlefield and the steepest of slopes. The Ogerton legs allow them to strive quickly through dense overgrowth or urban ruins by producing an overrun burst speed over open terrain. The Scouts' vehicle power plants have noise reduction of fires will not alert the enemy to the presence. The crewmen of the Scout Sentinels often attack their vehicles further, and all manner of rough terrain implications are seen across various Mutum regiments. The Vulcan Ice Wars Warriors often attach server driven claw spikes to the feet of the Sentinels, can grip through the glacial plains, where the Catan jungle fighters have been known to rig their scouts with giant chainsaws to clear path through thick jungles. The Scout Sentinel is not intended for extended frontline combat operations. Its unfinished crew compartment allows the pilot to survey the prey, but at the cost of making them vulnerable to small arms fire. To maintain mobility, the walker also lacks the fully uh, armor and ferro steel plating of a fully fledged main battle tank. The armor sentinel, however, has a fully enclosed heavy canopy. The mechanical legs of an armor sentinel are also modified with coil compressors in place of anti additional anti geo stabilizers. Margin decreasing their speed, but allowing them to fire more powerful weapons systems such as las cannons, plasma cannons, and auto cannons. Sentinels become superb battlefront units when they are fitted with extra armor, allowing them to stride through the dolls of weapon fire that could cripple or destroy a lightly combat walker. Sentinels array and aspect systems are placed with additional power cells and cooling systems to allow the armor cell to in order to fulfill its role as a mobile heavy with weapons platform. <coughs> armor sentinels are used for removing hunt to killer units, forming search and destroy teams that seek stalk enemy battle tanks. Once the cover is located, it's eliminated with practice efficiency. Plasma and Lazcan fire slicing through the thickest adulted for plating. The Drop Sentinel has a modified engine and a modified canopy in order to fit inside the Valkyrie assault carrier. Two Drop Sentinels can be carried by a Valkyrie Sky Talon and dropped into a combat zone. 
The Sentinels will drop from low altitude and use grav chutes in order to make a soft landing. <coughs> These Sentinels are often armed with either a heavy bolter, heavy flamer, or multi melter. They are most commonly used as fire support by regiments of the Assyrian drop troops. The support Sentinel are often used as light artillery support units for the Astra Militarum armoured companies and fire support for infantry regiments. The Sentinels are used equipped or e with either a multi-rocket pod or missile launcher pod. The Sentinel Power Lifter is a non-combat logistics platform and equipped with two large power claws that are used to grip and hold heavy objects like missiles and other ordnance and transport them short distances or lift them to place on other Imperial vehicles. However, the power claws can be used as extremely effective melee weapons against enemy infantry in certain circumstances. Known patterns of the Sentinel are the Armageddon pattern. The Armageddon pattern Sentinel is armed with a LAS cannon and is one of the most effective anti-tank weapons the Imperial Guard possesses. And this pattern is used in very effective anti-armor roles. The canopy is also forcefully enclosed with the armor plating. Canadian pattern. The Canadian pattern Sentinel is armed with an autocannon, which is effective against more elite armored infantry units and standard vehicles. Its canopy is fully enclosed and armored. The Catachan pattern is armed with a heavy flamer and chainsword used in the dense jungles of the death world of the Catachan and planets with similar tropical environments. This pattern is both highly effective at clearing a path through heavy jungle terrain as well as diminishing lightly armoured troops in accordance with the Catachan Jungle Fighters Combat Doctorate. Most Catachan pattern sentinels are extremely well camouflaged. The canopy of the Catachan Sentinel is only partly armoured, but it is covered in camouflage netting in order to better blend in with its surroundings. The Assyrian pattern sentinel is armed with either a multi melter or heavy belter. The multi-melter variant is used by regiments of the Estelian Drops troops for as a substitute for more heavy armoured and armoured vehicles such as the Rusmine Battle Tank that are not used by the Illyrians in the role as light infantry. The Ephesian Pattern Sentinel's main weapon is extremely effective against the most heavily armoured vehicles. The heavy bolter variant of this pattern is used to mow down densely packed infantry units and is vital to the Assyrians when they are operating against the larger forces of infantry. Both variants of this pattern have been modified to fit inside a Valkyrie and are fitted with grav chutes so they can be parachuted into combat alongside Assyrian troops as the engines and canopy of the Sentinel have been downsized in order to fit inside of a Valkyrie. The canopy is only partly armoured. The Mars Pattern Sentinel is armed with a multi-laser which is effective against infantry formations and lightly armoured vehicles. This pattern uses a particularly armoured canopy. The Pastralian Pattern Sentinel is quite a different beast compared to its brethren. The main difference includes the removal of almost the entire canopy and a simpler walking mechanism. The legs of the Petroleum pattern have one less knee joint compared to their other patterns and are covered in thick plate armour. <laughs> this is in accordance with the Pavilion Combat Dock Richard, which is heavily focused around the lines of infantry. In countless ranks, firing in mass volleys supported by heavy weapons teams. The pattern pattern sentinel complements the strategy by achieving a more for heavy weapons team rather than a fast attack or reconnaissance vehicle. This pattern has been known to mount Punisher assault cannons as its primary ornament. And last but not least is the Terrarian pattern. The Terrarian pattern sentinel is armed with a multi-laser. It has a larger feet than other sentinel patterns to provide better balance on the loose sand of the battle zones it is used in. It is normally manufactured with only a partly armoured carapace.
so as you'll see that I have decided to build two variants of the Canadian pattern one with a more open canapace and one with a more armoured canapace or canopy if you will but both are still classified as scout sentinels and not fully armoured a fully armoured scout sentinel as you heard is a completely enclosed cockpit with a communications array at the top as well as the ability to fit a hunter killer missile which neither of these ones have had attached to both are painted in a darker blue as well as having the imperial eagle and logos painted in white both have got the auto cannon there ready to fire into the massed ranks of enemy troops or into their armored vehicles to provide a bit of mobile heavy fire support I was toying with the idea of having them in different leg poses or movements then then decided that I was just going to have a different angle with the top of the sentinels uh, these two are then are finished so what we need to do is let them dry for a bit after I put on this last bit of the more enclosed canapace and then show you what they look like fully done <coughs> and there we have it these two scout sentinels are ready to go ahead of the Imperial Guard Army and scout out for the Guardsmen. They are both classed as Scout Sentinels. The only reason they would be classed as armor is if this top bit was closed off completely and they were carrying plasma guns. So not, I've still got movement in the legs as you can see so I can change their poses, which is always cool. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Until the next one. For the Empire!